Hey, it's Liz Phillips. Um, I'm here to tell you about the NYT cooking site. It's the cooking website, uh, recipe website of the New York Times. Um, they have recipes from all over the world, really well-tested recipes from their deep decades-long catalog of, um, of recipes from around the world. And I like their recipes, but what I really like is that I can store them in a recipe box here. Um, so you see, that's where that was. I've got a lot of saved recipes in folders here. Some of them are folders that they've pre-named and some of them are folders that I've named. I'm gonna show you um, right now, it's summertime, so I'm really excited about uh, tomatoes. And this is from another website, this is Smitten Kitchen, but I can take the URL from this website and I can put it here. I wanna make sure you see what I'm talking about here. Add a non-NYT recipe. And I'm going to click. What? I got to go back to uh, clicking. Here we go. I'm going to click on this. And I'm putting the URL from Smitten Kitchen in here. And I'm actually just going to put it in this folder, external recipes that I made, and save it. And that means that even though this is not a New York Times recipe, I can still use it anyway. Um, so let's see. I think um, the most important reason I love this is that I'm always scratching my head at around four o'clock thinking, what am I going to make for dinner? And I know that if I look here on this website, I'm probably going to find something.